Good morning, YouTube family. Carla at Living a Rogue Life. Um, Saturday morning, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Sunny 82. It's probably about 9 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, already been doing some gardening. Today, according to Farmer's Almanac, it's a good day to plant root vegetables. So, put some more radishes in the ground. It's too hot to really try to do uh, anything as far as, you know, beets. I did put some more carrots in the ground also. I've never had luck with carrots. We'll see what happens there. But, I've been doing a lot of canning and a lot of gardening. And with this washing your hands all the time, my hands are starting to crack. And I don't know about any of the rest of you, but I follow... Um, Jennifer and Zach Stiver on uh, Stiver's Homestead. Love them to death. Hopefully they're on my, on my bucket list now, people I need to meet and might get in my life. But Jennifer makes this uh, calendula salve that she sells on Etsy. So I ordered some. Love the packaging. And then I really especially love there is a sticker on the back that says Kentucky Proud. So really love that one. Um, very pretty. Let's see what this label looks like. It says Calendula Sav and it has their little mason jar logo and it's all pink with a little woody bottom. It's very, very cute. Nice container. And there's the salve. I want to say it smells lemony, but it could be more like a lemongrass. Nice oily texture. Let's hope this helps on my fingers so I will update you on how well this works oh, it does smell really good but there's one other thing that Jennifer does um, and she makes supposedly the world's best pickled eggs well a few weeks back probably probably closer to four or five weeks now I followed her recipe and I made pickled eggs it's a beautiful color but I haven't tasted one. And the reason being is I don't like boiled eggs. Uh, but I have chickens and I have a lot of extra eggs. And I thought, well, okay, what am I going to do with these? And I saw it and I thought, it's got to be good. Jennifer makes it. It's got to be good. So I'm really going to do this. I am going to try a pickled egg. I'm not even going to smell. I'm scared. It's the texture of a boiled egg. Now, scrambled egg, fried eggs eggs used for cooking. Deviled eggs are okay. But just the fact of it's a mental thing or a texture thing. Oh, let's see. Please don't be slimy. Oh, you're not. That's good. Let's see if I can get it out of the jar. I probably should have used a wide mouth jar. Oh, that one's broken and looking at me. I, sorry, I can't do that one. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Stop laughing. Okay. This egg looks like Easter. That is about the brightest yellow I've ever seen. Let's see what it looks like inside. Do I want to know? Inside looks like a boiled egg. Let's see what the flavor does. Hope I don't gag. If I do, I'm sorry. I am surprisingly pleased. <laughs> it has sort of a mustard flavor. Anyway, I'll put a link to the rest to Jen's vid Jennifer's video down below. If you like pickled eggs or if you like boiled eggs, give it a shot. I think this is something's going to have to grow on me just because the texture of a boiled egg is just not my thing. But anyway, guys, have a I'm going to chase that down with some tequila. Have a great Saturday. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon.